Everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome to the first episode of what will be a network of new series. In these mini LPs, I will be attempting to use only one class per character and world to try and get the best items and armor you can get with each class. So, for example, we have the Summoner class, we have the Ranger class, we've got the Mage class, and of course the Warrior class. And what I've done is I've attached a number to each. I'll pick a class at random and start from there. So, here we go! Ooh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna stop on? Let's have a look in three, two, one, boom! Alright, we got the warrior class. This mini LP will be using a warrior class, which means using only melee weapons and absolutely no other types of weapons. This should be pretty damn interesting, actually. So, without further ado, let's get into creating ourselves a new character. Alright guys, as you can see, I've got my character already set up. He's got red hair and red shoes to kind of match the colour of the class that was kind of assigned to him. So this is going to be a warrior character, and to make it a bit more of a challenge, we're actually going to be using medium core. So just to clarify, soft core is the easiest of the modes. You only lose coins upon death. Medium core is more like Minecraft. You lose all of your items upon death, but you can simply go and get them back. And then you've got hardcore, which just completely demolishes your character upon death. So, uh, you know, I mean, I kind of want the challenge but I don't really want to lose my character upon dying so that is how it is going to work let's name our dude there we go warrior and we are going to start a small world we're gonna call it warrior LP world okay this should be a pretty interesting LP actually because uh, how would you defeat the eye of Cthulhu with only melee weapons normally you do it with throwing knives and shurikens but uh, we aren't allowed to use them because they're classed as ranged weapons so this might be pretty interesting. Uh, I think one of my buddies, Vince, was suggesting I should find a Sky Island and get the Star Fury. I think that's a pretty cool idea, because uh, that does a bot ton of damage. So that's a, uh, yeah, I think that'd be a pretty solid idea, but that means getting insane luck and finding a gravitation potion or something. So without further ado, let's get into our world and see what kind of things we've got going. We have a snow biome to our right. Straight out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Well, what else have we got? Ah, oh, really? We've got a slow copper axe? Are you for real right now? Okay, you can always give me the rubbish things. Oh my god, this is going to take so long to cut down one tree. <laughs> oh my god. So in terms of how these uh, mini LPs are going to work, I'm going to actually be cutting out the building of houses or any other buildings that I might make. I'm going to cut all of that out, and I'm also going to be cutting out the sort of tedious sort of mining parts or any other parts that I think might get a bit boring. So I basically want to keep all the interesting things in and keep all the boring stuff out, hopefully. And basically, the end goal of these mini LPs is to basically get the best gear from each class. So, for example, for the Warrior class, we would be aiming to get the Beetle Armor, and probably something like the Flareon. So, you know, that'd be pretty interesting. Right, okay, uh, I don't want to die. Like, for real, I really don't want to die, because that would really suck. It gives us a bit more of an incentive not to die, and not to be a big dumbass. Right, now, if I'm really lucky, what I will hopefully find is a desert biome, and I can grab a bunch of cactus, make some cactus armor, and a cactus sword. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm not going over that way. Hey, I'm not going over that way. Why? Right. right, okay. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this when I get back to the snow biome. I'll meet you guys back there. Alright guys, we are back at spawn and we're just going to go ahead and head to the right of the map because uh, I really don't want to go ahead and discover... Well, I don't want to die, that's the uh, main aim of today. Well, this is going to be a massive pain in the ass to get up, so what we're actually going to do is I'm going to do this. There we go, I'm just going just gonna to go over the top because that's how you do. Hello Mr. Penguin. Five health. <laughs> I can't believe he only has five health. I would have thought he'd have more, like, I don't know, 20 or something. Good lord. It's like every single critter has five health in this game. I mean, things like worms, yeah, five health would suffice. But the larger things, like penguins, I think they should have a little bit more. Maybe like 10 or 15 or something like that. I don't know. Just to sort of scale it up with the size of the animal or strength of the animal. You know, you get, you get what I mean. Right, okay. Let's continue the exploration now. We are doing pretty well. We haven't lost too much health. In fact, we're at full health right now, which is pretty damn nice. There appears to be a cave down there. Right. Now what I do want to do is try and get armor and a good weapon as soon as possible. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to chop down this tree right here and I'm going to make a, a little bit of a 
cave entrance around here. I'm going to see what kind of things we've got going. So we've got one of two approaches we can really go with on this series. Well, for the start of the series, shall I say. We can either go ahead and mine straight away, or we can try our luck at finding a desert temple or desert biome or something, and we, we can get armor that way. Right, okay, here we go. We don't have anything too decent, unfortunately. Uh, oh, a chest. Yes. Aha! What do you got? Glow sticks. Ah, rope. That's the thing I was wanting. Rope. Rope is a good thing. I can navigate just a little bit easier now. Okay, I'm all right with this. Do we have a recall potion? Nope. Okay, we are not lucky enough to get a recall potion, but, you know, you can't have everything in the world, can you? Right, okay. Let's keep going. Go over this side. Enable auto mine so I don't have to keep aiming. Right, okay. For the most part, I don't actually use auto mine. It's, it's kind of weird. I know it's there for a reason. Uh, there's a trap there. There we go. Just got rid of it. Uh, traps. Am I allowed to use traps? I don't know. But there's a crimson on that side as well. That is not good. Okay. So we apparently are surrounded by crimson. That is not a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right. Okay. So if I, remember, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Boreal Wood, which is what this wood in the snow biome is, I'm pretty sure that gives you very, very slightly more defense than regular wood. So let's go ahead and chop down a little bit of wood and let's make some armor. Hmm, things are getting a little bit hairy up top, so uh, uh, we are going to make a Boreal Sword and then we're going to pwn these blooming dudes because I'm not going to die to blooming slimes. That's embarrassing. Doesn't like for real, that's embarrassing. Right, okay, uh, a Boreal Sword. Eight damage. Nine damage. Nice. Okay, I'm alright with that. You know, nine damage is pretty damn nice. Uh, do we want anything else while we're here? We have... Oh yeah, we do have enough to make all the armor. Nice, okay, let's do that. Okay. I think this is the first ever time I've made Boreal armor. Look at me, I look like a badass, and I've already lost my reddish hue. My red hair is all gone. And I have four defense as opposed to three, which is pretty damn nice. I'm alright with that. Right, okay. Oh, wait. Maybe that's not the crimson. Maybe that's just a crimson altar. Uh, well, that's kind of embarrassing, I must admit. <laughs> right. So in terms of if we do manage to get any weapons or things that we're not allowed to use, so anything that's ranged or magic or summoner damage or does any of them lot, uh, we're basically going to either sell them or chuck them away it's kind of according to how much they're worth, I guess. Right, okay. Okay. Hell, oh, that's a good start. That is a good start. Okay, I'm alright with this. Getting myself some of them heart crystal things. Sweet baby Jesus. Right, okay, I don't want copper. Copper's pretty useless, I must admit. Alright, okay. What do we got? There is a trap right there. Let's go ahead and disable that. Right, we are up to 120 health, which is pretty damn nice. I am okay with that. Okay. Are we going to find something cool? Yes! Another heart container and some gold! Hey baby, I like this! Oh my god, okay, our luck is with us today. I'm alright with this. <laughs> I like it when we're lucky. Dude, we've got like all the ores right here. We've got gold, we've got copper, we've got lead, and I'm pretty sure there's silver beneath us as well. Okay, we've kind of bumped into the mini ore heaven. Oh my god, I'm alright with this. This is cool. <laughs> like I said, our luck appears to be with us today. Okay. Right. The only thing is, we didn't manage to find a desert biome. Uh, maybe if we go back to the surface after I mine this silver, we might be able to find one. But I'm pretty sure the cactus sword does the same amount of damage as my Boreal sword does right now. So that's nine, I believe. Right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I am I am happy with the progress we're making. I'm really happy with the progress we're making so far. And like I said, I'm not going to grab the copper because, let's be honest, it is pretty much worthless. Right, okay, what do we got? What do we got? Anything cool? If there was a boulder trap that... Oh, there's another heart down there. I see you. Oh, okay. All seems to still be good. I don't have any shine potions. Right, okay, we're up to 160 health at this point. That is pretty damn nice. Uh, if we can find... Nice try. Look, there's a boulder trap up there and I saw a little pressure plate on the ground. You think you're so good, Terraria? You think you're so good. Right, okay. There's a mushroom biome to our top left. Okay, no, top right. Okay, I don't know my lefts and rights. Apparently, I would make a terrible airline pilot. Uh, that's great. Right, this is 
This is a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, let's use glow sticks just for now. And we are going to build our way over to the lead that's over here. And the reason why I'm grabbing this lead is just so we can make an anvil, which is pretty damn nice. Okay, let's chuck one of them there. Okay, so we could maybe find something in that mushroom biome up in the top right. That would be pretty nice. You tend to find hearts and golden chests there. So uh, if we can find them, then that would be great. I can't believe we're using blooming glow sticks. Though. That's pretty ridiculous. Right, okay, let's keep going. Let's make our way over to the mushroom biome and I'll meet you guys there. Alright, here we go. Let's see what kind of things we've got going. We've got bats, obviously, because that's how you do. Alright, we've got to watch out for pressure plates. Uh, well, there doesn't appear to be anything too interesting around here. There appears to be a very large blooming sand spike. Oh, I can see a heart to the right. Okay, got to grab that. Wait, there we go. Right, let's use the auto mine just to get down here. Let's throw one of these down. Okay, here we go. There are loads of bats, apparently. Okay, I kind of want to grab some blue mushrooms as well, just so we can make some regular health potions. You know, the ones that we store 100 health as opposed to 50. It's pretty damn nice. Okay. Man, we're going to end up with like 200 health on our first episode. That's like insane, man. Okie dokie. Hello, Mr. Piranha. Oh, dear, there's two of them. Oh, boy. Okay, well, you're dead. Uh, let's get these slimes dead. I'll finally be able to make a couple of torches. That'll be nice. Uh, okay. Torches. Thank you very much. I can see you just a little bit better. Right, okay. What have we got going down here? Is there any more traps? I fear for my life. I th yeah, there's a dark trap up there. You might be able to see it. Oh my god. You've got to be so eagle-eyed in this game. Especially if you're going to play either medium or hardcore. That's like ridiculous. Right, there we go. I think I should disable it right there. Right. Yes. Die. Ooh. Nice try again, Terraria. You're really trying to throw all your traps at me, aren't you? Damn fool. <laughs> I think they're so good, but I am just that little bit better. I am just that little bit eagle-eyed. Right, let's take some of these down. Right, okay. Give me mushroom seeds. Oh, we've got some. Okay, nice. <laughs> Apparently, we don't need them. Right, okay. And again, with the pressure plates, just got to be careful. Okay, cobweb is very, very useful. Okay, I thought that was a boulder trap before, but apparently it's not. It is just a dart trap. Okay. Well, I don't know if we can use traps. I don't really know what kind of damage they're sort of classed as. If anybody does know what kind of sort of damage they're classed as, or what kind of class that would suit, then by all means, leave your responses in the comments area below, because I'm going to be honest, I am i haven't really made my mind up as to whether or not I'm allowed to use traps, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys to see what, see what you come up with. I think it would be interesting, personally, but at the same time, I think it might be classed as cheating. Just, just might. Right, let's put one there, just so we can get up and grab this silver. We are getting a pretty, pretty nice amount of silver, I must admit. Right, okay. Any more? Oh, good lord, that's a big-ass vein. Right, okay, let's use also mine for this. Oh, yeah, that should make it just a tiny bit quicker to grab. Dude, there's so much silver here. Good lord. <laughs> oh man, I really have hit the mother load with this world, haven't I? It's kind of it's kind of a shame that I can't really share the world with you guys. Well, not yet anyway, because obviously I've only just started. You know, maybe at the end of the series I'll provide a world download like I did with my main LP. But for now, I want to work on this world and get my things done. All right, okay. Let's turn all mine off. There we go. Sweet. I am pretty okay with this. Apparently there's some crimtain ore down to the bottom right. There's only four bits by the looks of it. This is a spider biome. Do I want to go in here or not? There may be a web slinger. That's the only reason why I might want to go in here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. Right, okay. Let's just throw a glow stick down here. Okay, nothing going on. Oh my god. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of scared because there may be traps everywhere. Uh, that appears to be... What is that? There's a mouse down here. Well, okay, that's, if that's how it's going to work, then that's, that's how it's going to work, I guess. Okay, well, there's nothing down here, so we might as well just go back up. Uh, do I really want to risk my life going into the spider biome? Because, I mean, I must admit, I can't actually see any spiders. But there may be a webbed chest in here, which might provide us with a uh, pretty early and decent grappling hook. Alright, okay, let's just have a, uh, have a wander in. This should provide us with enough cobweb as well to make a bed, so that's pretty damn useful. Right, let's throw one of these down. Okay. 
Alright guys, sorry about that random interruption, I uh, had a phone call I had to take, so let's go ahead and carry on with our expedition into the spider biome. We don't appear to be finding any spiders as of yet, which I guess is okay, because it means we aren't going to die, which is pretty nice. I think I should throw down another glow stick just down here. Uh, oh good lord, that is a big biome. Sheesh! Okay, I didn't realise it was that big. Good lord. Right, okay. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make my way up to that big mama slime. I'm going to kill the big mama slime. And then we are going to carry on our exploration of this cave. Hopefully get some cool things. Maybe another heart or two. Or maybe even a magic mirror. You know, that'd be pretty damn nice, wouldn't it? Yes, right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, there's nothing over here by the looks of it. Okay, we just got to be careful. Hello. Oh, this is easy. Huh. Ah. This isn't even taking any effort. Well, at least we're going to get slimes from this. Or gel more to the point. Yeah! Making loads of torches. Making plays. Ow. Just got to be careful. Right, okay. Uh, should I keep going down? Should I keep exploring this thing? I feel like it's a bad idea, but at the same time, I really want to do it. Oh! Spider, spider, spider. Okay, can I, can I get in there? Can oh, this is such a bad... Oh, I'm getting out. No, 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 no. I am not doing this. I'm not messing around with spiders. They are mean! They don't take much knockback from your sword either, which is what I don't like about them. Right, okay. So now we have the predicament of trying to get out of it. Ah, this may be a bit of a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. Can I... Oh, do you... That's a spider. That's a spider in the top there. Why? Why are you even there? It makes no sense. Oh, dear lord! Okay. There's like five million spiders over there. So that's, that's pretty interesting, right? So let's just go ahead and do this. There we go. They're not they're not going to disturb us anymore. What are you on about? Right. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. You're going to give me a bone sword, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're going to give me a bone sword. If I call this right now, I'm going to be really surprised. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought I wouldn't get that lucky. Right. Okay. Right, we just got to get out of it. How the hell do we get in? That's the question we need answering. Right, okay, we have 154 stone. Here we go. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this to when we get out of here, hopefully. So I shall meet you guys on the surface. Alrighty, guys, we are now on the surface, and for some reason, it is a very starry night. There's loads of stars falling down, which is pretty damn awesome. And when I say loads, there's actually only two so far. Okay, well, I guess that doesn't matter too much. All right, let's go up here really quick. Now we have some ropes. We can navigate the world just a tiny bit easier. There's another star up here. Nice. All right, okay. Normally, when you find these big sort of molehills or mountains, there tends to be a sky island nearby. But unfortunately, we haven't been lucky enough to obtain a gravitation potion, so we won't be able to find it because we don't have anything in order to do that uh, at the moment i'm just looking for chests but there doesn't appear to be any for now anyway right hello anything cool by the looks of it maybe there's something on the other side here uh no right okay well that's that's pretty oh really that's pretty disappointing but i guess again you can't have everything in the world can you hello get killed yeah you're dead thank you thank you very much right okay that was the wrong thing. I did not mean to do that. Well, well it doesn't matter too much now, does it? <laughs> right. No, I'm not going to make that, am I? There is no possible way I'm going to make that. Okay, this this might help. There we go. Just a little bit of rope. Do love me some ropes. Right, okay. What are we going to find in the world? Anything cool? Anything of worth? Anything to write home about? I do hope so, because it'll be nice to find something cool. Right, okay. Just a big forest at the moment, with a bunch of mini random floating islands. And a chest apparently, nice, okay, what have we got? Throwing knives, really? I can't use them. You have to give me the things that I can't use, you damn fool. All right, okay, I can make that, can I? There we go, okay, let's keep, it let's keep it exploring. Ah, a desert, yes, right, okay. Let's do a little bit of cactus mining. Hopefully we get enough to make cactus armor because I'm pretty sure that does very slightly more defense than the armor I have right now. Alright, 
right, let's see how much cactus we got from that. 129? Good lord, that's a pretty damn nice amount now, isn't it? Okay. Let's go ahead and see what kind of things we can make. Hopefully a nice amount of stuff. A cactus helmet. Okay, nice. Cactus breastplate. Pretty sweet. And some of this. And that should give us five defense now, so we have increased it by one. We have a cactus sword. Oh my god. Is this really worth making? I might make a cactus pickaxe just to give us an extra bit of range. And it gives us a bad one. Okay, that's, that's fantastic, I guess. Cactus sword. Yeah, that's more like it. Increased damage. I am okay with that. And I guess on that note, I'm going to wrap up the first episode there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course, if you're excited to see the rest of the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, thank you very much for watching. My name is BPythonGB, and I will see you guys next time.